It takes one person. Having grown up in a house with an alcoholic and a narcissist, Patrick became known as the class clown. I watched his video and he was showing a, an award he got in 1989 when he was graduating from elementary school. He would have been about the seventh grade. And how he was proud to receive the sense of humor award, which he calls a class clown award in the video. And when he got his award and went to sit down, his mother, he could tell by the look on her face that she was very angry. She berated him and he just was fed up after all the years that he put up with this kind of treatment. And he just walked away from her. Her friend told her to get in the car and they finally gave up, let him go. And when he got home, she was so drunk she had vomited on the carpet and she was with her drinking buddy who told him don't worry about it nothing to see here nothing to see here he went on upstairs knowing that by the next day with his mother's swinging mood she would have forgotten about it or been too hung over to remember it or whatever whether she remembered it or not it stayed in his mind fast forward to the high school years and he becomes smoking reefer, drinking, missing a lot of school, barely skirted out of high school by the skin of his teeth. And he remembers that they had to finagle stuff just to pass him because of all of the school he had missed. So he graduates and starts waiting tables. Now, he's getting triggered every single day because of what the job entailed. He had to come in and work an hour or two before or after preparing the napkins and the cutlery and the ketchup and all of that stuff without getting paid. And to him, it was like his narcissist dad telling him, well, if you need your permission slip sign, take out the garbage, do the dishes, do this chore, do that chore, and I'll think about it. And he felt unheard, and he felt like that it was like his dad telling him, look, I told you to do it, just do it. And the fact that he wasn't getting paid for it, so they would come in before the shift and do like an hour or two work. And it would just get on his nerves. And he said, generally, there was an adversarial thing going on between the front staff and the back staff. Uh, he talked about how they didn't really make a lot of money, like 250 an hour plus tips. And how sometimes they just got sent home. They do all the front work, work an hour or two and then get sent home because they didn't have enough customers. So now he's worked an hour or two with no pay and it just was triggering him from childhood. Somebody he worked with saw that and recognized the signs of trauma, offered him a card for his own therapist and he started going to therapy. He talks to this day about what that therapist did for him. There was something about her that, see my last video, I'll put it here. It was something about her that went beyond the typical status quo for most therapists where we talk to keep ourselves out of it don't talk about ourselves don't 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 relate anything in our own lives kind of keep keep that curtain up between us and the client but it was something different about this lady and he stuck with her in therapy now i've told you all of this to come to a simple point and i'm not gonna keep you i'm gonna keep this short at one point during his therapy, this woman told him, regardless of all the poor grades he got in high school, he read one of his high one of his junior high school comments on his report card, and it basically said that when when Patrick concentrates, he's an excellent student, but he doesn't seem to concentrate, and he saw that and well, yeah. 
I got a drunk mom, drunk dad, dad dying from 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 cancer, and he's a narcissist going on at home, so nobody's there even reading a report card, let alone helping me with stuff. The card indicated at some point that he needed an individual education plan. Did that get done? No. So he looked at as if, and go back to my last video again, okay? It goes to, you are the problem. The teachers were seeing him as a problem instead of trying to figure out what happened to him. So thank God for this therapist because she, it, this, we would never, if we follow our protocol the way we were trained, we wouldn't necessarily do this. But I talked about in that last video about how important it is that we get trained in therapy to people who are suffering trauma. And she said, you're going to, you're going to college. I can't do that as no therapist. Not the way I was taught. But she did the right thing. In my last video, I said, when you're trained in therapy to traumatized individuals, you know when it's okay to break those rules that you had hammered into your head in school. She broke that rule. She, you're going to college. Now, he had been in therapy for some time. There was nothing in Patrick's background that would tell him that he was even college material. All he got was he's the problem, you're the problem, you this and you that at, at home. And nobody at school was, especially back then, nobody at school was recognizing the trauma dynamic in play, okay? And so this was an eye-opener. This therapist had developed enough of a relationship, a rapport with her client, Patrick, that he heard her and he went and applied to college. Now, now, yeah, whole time he's doing this, now he's going by what she said. He just plain believed her. And he said when he was writing that essay to get into that school, you would have thought he was applying for a job at the White House. There was nothing in his head to tell him to, to believe the therapist over the voices that been hammering in his head how, how worthless he was, how he was incapable, how he was the problem. There was nothing in his life to teach him to believe this therapist over all of these noisy voices, but he made a decision. He decided I'm going to believe this therapist. And he applied to college. He got into college. First semester in college. 4.0. 4.0. He had never done a 4.0 in his whole entire life. But he did a 4.0. The moral to this story is it doesn't matter how much trauma and pain you've been through in life. It doesn't matter how many negative voices are hammered at you on a daily basis. It doesn't matter how you feel shame, false shame for what you went through. It doesn't matter when is there one voice cutting through the noise seeing your true potential and who you truly are telling you go for it go for it and I want you when you hear that one voice it's going to sound very foreign it's going to sound so different from what you're used to hearing, what you're telling yourself, what's been hammered in your head for years. But when you hear that one long voice 
cutting through the noise and telling you, you can do this. You have the potential. You're smart. You're intelligent. You can do this. You this, you that. Some, telling you something completely opposite. You listen. And you make a decision as Patrick did in that moment. You make a decision. I'm going to listen to the foreign voice right now. Because it's going to take that decision for that to matter in your life. Patrick was hearing all that noise while he was applying before he took that move and believed this therapist and went ahead and applied to college. Surprised his, himself getting into college. And what did that lead to? He got his bachelor's degree. He went on to get his master's of social work. And what's he doing? He's making all the pain he suffered count. That's the only revenge we get on our path. We cannot change our path. It's a done deal, D-O-A. But the only revenge we can take on it is to go ahead and make it count. And that's what Patrick's doing in his life right now. He's training other therapists how to deal with trauma. Childhood trauma specifically with their clients, not just trauma informed, but trauma trained. He has he has dealt with many clients in his life and helped them out. And one of the things that he said was that he moved past the protocol we're trained about. Oh, don't talk about this. Don't talk about that. If it's about you, you don't exist in this relationship. It's all on the client, the client, the client. And he would tell him, look, oh, man, that's okay. I've got a mother like that, too. What does that do? People can relate to him and people begin to trust him because this may be the first time in their entire therapeutic lives that they knew they were speaking to somebody who has been there, done that, got the t-shirt and graduated past the pain far enough that they can make it count. Make it count in somebody else's life who's going through it and lost because they haven't found the right therapist or trauma-trained therapist to help them through it. See, that's what happens. If you can't find somebody who's trained in trauma and you're suffering from childhood trauma, especially from childhood trauma, but any kind of trauma, and you keep going to therapists who don't specialize in that, can't relate to that, don't understand that, and are untrained in that, then you begin to, what, perpetuate that same old crap, what's so wrong with me, I'm the problem, yeah, I this, I got the shame, and the hopelessness that that drives, because you're supposed to be able to come to therapists, to come to us, to break free from that mess. Okay, I'm off, I'm, I'm off the soapbox, I, I'm going to quit hammering at this, but I just wanted to share this story as a story of hope for you, that he decided to listen to the lone voice trying to cut through all of that negative stuff that's run, running around in his head, and it's going to serve, it's serving all of us well, because he is in his purpose now. Go ahead and click below, schedule your complimentary breakthrough session with me. And I look forward to talking with you. But in the meantime, always remember your greatest power is realizing the truth of who you are. Be sure to know that truth. If this channel is of any benefit to you, if you like what you see, if it's helping you, please support the channel by hitting the subscribe button, leaving a comment, and like and share the video. Thanks.